Hey guys, Bad Infos here and this is GTA Liberty City Stories. In this video I'll show you all the ways you can get to the second and third island at the very beginning of the game after passing the first mandatory mission. No cheats or hacks are necessary. I'll be showing it on the PSP version but I know for a fact that most of these methods work on PS2 and mobile as well. And yes, all of these are really difficult to pull off. Yes, it will take you many many attempts. And no, you don't need to leave comments asking me why they don't work for you after one try. Buckle up because what you're about to see is not easy. Good luck! Method number one, travel to this location of the map. In the alleyway you'll find this freeway. Entering it will activate the 9mm mayhem mission. you spawn on the back of a freeway and someone will be driving you. A different person on a bike will spawn and your job is to kill him. You need to be fast and kill him in this square. So make sure you use the adrenaline pill to slow down time. Kill the other driver, kill your driver as well and remember exactly where that happened. The mission will fail and you need to quickly run to the bike the enemy dropped. Bear in mind that killing him too far away from where you activate the mission will not work, so make sure you are fast. If the bike has a flat tire, you can use your 100 bucks you got from the mission to repair it at pay and spray. This bike is special because it's heavy and splash proof, which means water does not affect it. Simply drive to this body of water and fall down into it. You'll enter blue hell and eventually you'll be teleported to Stoughton Island. In order to visit Shoreside Vale, you have to reach the lift bridge and simply drop down from it facing the island. Of course, after a while you'll spawn on the other side in Shoreside Vale. Method number 2. The ghost car method. Get yourself a short and small car and find a prostitute at night. Make sure she gets in the front passenger seat and drive her to the crusher. Park the car just like this, get out and immediately get back into the car. The crane will attach, detach and drop your car. Congratulations, now you have a ghost car. Travel to the subway and go through this fence. Yes, the car will go through, do not worry about it. Very slowly, just like I am doing, go all the way down to the train tracks. The smallest bump into a wall could drop you into blue hell, so be careful. Once you reach the bottom, take a left turn. If you see a train, try to avoid it because you're gonna fall into blue hell. As soon as you reach Stoughton Island, you can drop down and after a few seconds you'll be teleported to Stoughton Island. If you however want to travel to Shoreside Vale, you can just continue driving until you reach it. Method number 3. The absolutely hardest one which will take you many many tries. For this one you'll need a very tall vehicle such as an ambulance, fire truck, bus, etc. For me it works the best with the trash master so use that. Grab it from the junkyard and drive to this location of the map. Park it here and run towards the street to find the bike. If one doesn't spawn you can always get the PCJ from its spawn location which is located pretty close. As long as you don't get into many other vehicles, your trash master will still be there. Park next to it, hop onto the truck and park it right next to the last pillar just like this. You need to drop it into the water without falling in yourself. Doing it backwards is the easiest so do what I do. See where exactly it fell, hop onto your bike and align it well for a jump. And yes, you need to jump on top of the truck which is very difficult. After a lot of practice and a few attempts, you'll be able to fall on it. Now simply get off and you spawn underground. Do not move, but instead face this direction and wait for a train. Once you see it, simply follow it for a while, not too long because you cannot see where you're stepping on and may fall off. Wait for another train to spawn and follow it too. Do this a few more times until you reach the train station. Trains often spawn so it won't take you forever but it's still time consuming. Once you reach it, poof! The textures will load and you'll see where you're going. Turn around and go back from where you came. The walk is long so be ready. Pass your trash master and reach the underground vehicle tunnel. You need to align yourself and jump onto it. And once again start sprinting towards Stoughton Island. If you tap your sprint button, instead of holding it, you can sprint forever. If you wanna visit Stoughton Island, simply drop down right here after reaching the first street. You eventually get 
get teleported to land. If one visit shore side well, however, then you have to sprint for a very, very long time. After a while, you reach this blue wall. Jumping to the left will teleport you inside a tunnel. However, the right side will teleport you to Wichita Gardens. Once again, jump down and you'll be teleported to land. Welcome to shore side veil! Method number 4. This method will only teleport you from Portland to Stoughton Island, not Shortside Vale. You also need to complete the mission Dealing Revenge for Vincenzo because that unlocks Car Salesman. Start the mission between 8am and 6pm, choose the fastest car and take your client to the nearest body of water, making sure not to drive too fast so you complete the sale or too slow so you fail prematurely. Once you arrive, just wait until your timer is Deplete it completely. Right before it does, drive into the water. The timing is very tight, so be careful. After a while, you'll just be teleported right next to the arena in Stoughton Island. Method number 5. This method only works on the PSP version and will only take you from Stoughton Island to Shortside Vale. Take a car, drive to the hospital and smash this barrier. Grab this freeway from the parking lot, take the ramp and land on the hospital. This may sound crazy but you need to ram yourself against this wall at this specific spot. You go through and fall onto the tunnel. Simply take a left and drive until you reach the blue wall we saw in the previous methods. Let's take a left this time and drop down. As you can see I spawned in the Shoreside Vale tunnel. Take this route and visit the island. Method number 6. And of course this one is obvious but I'll mention it anyway. You can use a cheat as well. Go to the beach or the ferry, activate the drive on water cheat, which is on the screen, and drop into the water. Use this to get on land on Stoughton Island. From it of course you can go to Shortset Vale 2, which is as easy as before. Drop into the water and get out on the other side, not much to say. So how do you go back to Portland? Simple, just die. Dying ports you back. If you don't want to increase your death counter and you still have your splash proof bike from method number 1, you can drop from the lift bridge in the other direction. You pop up on the other side. As for Portland, you can take the docks next to Asuka's condo, gain some speed, drop into the water and welcome to Portland. If instead you have your ghost car from method number 2, you can take the airport subway, make a left turn at the train tracks and of course drop off when you reach Stoughton Island or Portland. And lastly, if you're a dirty smelly cheater, simply drive on the water all the way back to Portland. And this pretty much concludes the video guys. These are all the methods I know, but if you know more, share them in the comments and I'll do an extended video in the future. If you wanna see how to travel to the second and third island in any of the other GTA games, you can just click on the screen, leave a like if the video helped you out, thanks for watching and a very special thank you goes to my top channel members and patrons. LM MP Racing, House the Chowder, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, Cloud Speed, SMRJ, Paris Bruce Lane, and all other supporters on the screen. Thank you once again.